Hello everyone. I was at uh, Target today and found a new mystery box to open up for you guys on the channel. Um, I don't really know much about it. I haven't read it really in depth, but it's got all this autograph memorabilia, Cy Young stuff, uh, the Big Find World's Greatest Card Chase Pack Edition. It's got 14 cards, or 14 packs of cards from anywhere from 1980 to the 2000s. Um, again, I don't really know what to expect. I don't, I mean, I don't think there's going to be a baseball in it or something like that, per se. Um, the box is quite heavy. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's, I guess let's see what happens. I already opened it to the point where it's unsealed, but I haven't actually cracked the box open until now, so I don't really know what to expect. Um... Looks like there's not like a special bonus item in it. It's just packs jammed in here really tight. So let me pull these out and we'll uh, we'll figure out what we've got here. Pretty excited actually. These are a lot of these are going to be older packs, um, older than I am actually. Uh, let's see. So we have. I mean, I try to organize them by year the best I can. Um, so we have a 1990 score pack of baseball cards 91 Fleer Ultra 1991 Major League Upper Deck cards so I put that with that one as well Upper Deck 1990 that really metallic case to it or uh, pack to it Don Russ uh, where's our year on this it's a puzzle piece set with a Roberto Clemente puzzle it's got some nasty staining here on the back. That'll be fun. Uh, 1987 Diamond King Prince. Okay. I guess that's what we're up against there. 87. So that is going to be our oldest pack so far. We have 1990 Fleer. Uh, here's some Leaf. That's a little bit new. 91 Leaf. 1988 Tops with a uh, piece of gum inside. It's going to be probably destroying one of the cards, but it is what it is. 1989 Tops. That's awesome. That'll be a lot of fun to open. Don Russ. Uh, what year is this? 88. Cool. Babe Ruth Collection. Interesting. Available only in 1992. That'll be kind of fun to open. I'm going to go ahead and put that over here. Uh, we do, of course, have this opening day 2018 pack. Here's another Don Russ pack. And they don't really post the year on the front here. 89. Cool. And 88 Fleer. All right, well, uh, we're probably going to start from, let's go newest to oldest. So let's get this opening day 2018 out of the way. There's not very many cards in this. Yeah, it's seven cards. Um, so it doesn't seem too promising, but let's let's see what we've got. Hey, very first card is absolutely a wonderful one. Um of course, Ichiro Suzuki is one of the greatest Mariners of all time, so definitely glad to get another card of his. Charlie Blackman. Alex Bregman. Okay, that's actually a really cool card, the Rally Monkey. Um, I don't know if it's like some kind of short print or something. Um, it might just be. So I'm going to set it off to the side here. It looks as though it has a different uh, print number than the rest of them do, so there's a good chance. They got Todd Frazier, of course, Eddie Rosario, and Gregory Polanco. That rally monkey is, is pretty awesome. I'm just going to grab some penny sleeves, and just because it's a card that I think is pretty cool, I'm going to go ahead and put that rally monkey inside of a penny sleeve here to protect it. <laughs> That's a really neat card. All right, moving on. So the Babe Ruth collection from 1992. Isn't it interesting that 92 is the next newest pack stack of cards we've got from that box? 92. 
All right, let's see. Year in review, 1915. That's pretty cool. 1932, 40 home runs for the 11th time. Places in history, first to fan 1,000 times. First to strike out, that's, that's kind of funny. 119 extra base hits. There's him in a Red Sox jersey. First home run record. 1919. These images are really old. Banzai Bibu Rusu. The Babe in Japan. That's pretty cool. The Sultan of Swat. First hit 30, 40, and 50, 50 and 60 home runs. 1923. The Bambino. Bambino the Man. The Johnny Sil Sylvester story. Being remembered. That's pretty cool. Typically, those kinds of cards don't hold any value or anything, but they're neat to look through and, and fun to open, so I'm glad there was something like that included in this box. All right, here we go. This is going to be our Leaf set from 1991. And boy, they don't want you to open this pack really easily. All right, I had to whip out the old teeth for that one. Kind of destroying this pack, but I don't really know how else I'm going to get it open at this point. All right, 91 Leaf. We have Wade Taylor, Glenn Davis, Warren Crum Cromarty, Jeff Ballard, Ron Karkovice, Tim Belcher, Chico Walker, Mariano Duncan, Mark McGuire, that's a cool card. Not exactly his rookie card, but a cool card. We have a puzzle piece on the back, it feels like. Mitch Williams, it's interesting how it's printed sideways picture-wise, but the name is printed for upright. Interesting. Tim Raines, another great player. Barry Jones. Manny Lee. Jack Armstrong, Mike Jackson is a Mariner. That's awesome. And our puzzle piece. Not sure what that's about, but cool. There we have it. Next 91 pack is going to be our Major League Upper Deck 1991 pack. Opens really easy, but it's like a tinfoil wrapper on it. Don't know which side to start from here. I guess we'll just start right here. Dan Pasqua. Mike Benjamin. Eric Anthony. Casey Kendell. Ken so I'm going to move my light here, maybe get a little bit better angle. Marquise Grissom. Rex Hudler. Dennis Eckersley. That's a cool card. Gotta love that stash and that fisheye look he's given. And what year is this for him? That's pretty cool. I don't think I've got a Dennis Eckersley, so I'm going to hang on to that. Narcio Elvira. The Collector's Choice. And who is this? Roberto Kelly. Okay. Cool. Team checklist. Roberto Kelly. The good old-fashioned hollow stickers. Those are awesome. I had a bunch of those as a kid. I think my, my dad had purchased a lot of these cards, and he stored all those away, and I was able to, to claim a couple when I was growing up, which was cool. Tony Phillips. Dick Schofield. Tim Burke. Gerald Perry. Robin Yount, one of the better brewers of all time, I would say. Dave Justice. All right. Another pretty neat pack right there. Now we're going to go with the Fleer Ultra 1991. 
friend of mine just got a few boxes of these and he uh, was able to open open them all up and get some pretty cool stuff out of them. Um, just a few cards short of the entire set, I believe, so kind of neat. And let's see what we've got. Well, already I'm really excited. I don't know what this white square is here, but if we look underneath that, we have a Ken Griffey Jr. card. I guess that's a sticker. Nice. We have an awesome Ken Griffey Jr. card. Four of ten. I'm guessing that means he's... There's a set of ten cards, and Griffey is number four in that set. Not like a four of ten like numbered of 10 like newer cards do um, that they just didn't I don't think they used to do that kind of thing either way this card is in pristine condition he's my favorite player of all time uh, he's going in a penny sleeve and probably in a card saver because I, I need to do some research on that card and figure out just figure out what it's worth and how I wanna hang on to it that's awesome though I'm really glad to see that card Bill Landrum Denny Tar Tartable, Todd Zeal. These these cards feel really nice. They're really slick, really good looking, really sharp. I I really do like these cards. Mike McFarlane, Andres Galarraga, good old Don Mattingly, Brian Harper, Kevin Mass, Robin Yount again. Awesome. Maybe I'll back this light off a little bit now. Yeah, Robin Yount, that's pretty cool. Gino Peralta. Mark Salas. Scott Bradley and Walt Weiss. Nice. I've got a few good pulls so far that I'm excited about. Now it's time for 1990 Fleer. And remember, we're going newest to oldest so <laughs> we're going to be getting into the wax packs now there's a baseball quiz we're not going to take in the video but kind of a cool card and it looks like a an Oakland A's sticker on the other side it's pretty sweet all right here we go John Morris Joey Bell Kevin Mick Reynolds, Cal Ripken Jr. That's awesome. Looks like his rookie year was 81 or 82. I can't remember as it was such a long time ago. But I don't know that I have my own Cal Ripken Jr. card, especially not that I opened. Obviously, that I, you know, ripped a pack for. So let's go ahead and throw him in a sleeve. That's awesome. That's a cool card. Daryl Hamilton, Pat Tabler, Frank Viola, cool, Doug Jones, John Franco, Players of the Decade, 10th Anniversary, George Brett. That's pretty neat. Ken o Oberkfell, Rich Gedman, Mitch Williams, Dan Plezak and Jack Howell. Feels like there's some uh, residue from the pack on the back of that card for Jack Howell. That's our Fleer 90. Now we're going to do our Upper Deck 1990. Maybe if we're lucky we'll get another Ken Griffey Jr. card. Who knows? It would have been his second year, so we're not looking for any kind of update or traded packs or anything. Here's John Farrell having a great time. And the back of a card, Craig Lefferts, Jeff King, Wayne Tolleson, Stan Javier, the back of a couple cards, let's flip those around, we have Juan Augusto, and Mickey Hatcher, Darren Jackson, sticker card, the Baltimore Orioles, Awesome. Cal Daniels. Atlee Hamaker. Or 
Jorge Maker, Junior Felix. Here's a cool Dwight Evans card. Ron Jones, Phillies. Would you look at that? That's a young guy right there, Kevin Ritz. You can tell he's a rookie. <laughs> and Mike Peglia. Pegliar, Peglia, Pegliarlu, hello. <laughs> Looks like he's got his eyes closed in that one. That's unfortunate. And our last pack from 1990 is going to be our score 1990. Really, really weird texture on this packaging. It's like a almost elastic kind of thin material. Phil Bradley. Ozzy Smith, that's really cool. That might be my my first own. Oh my gosh, what a lineup! Ozzy Smith, Bo Jackson, Andre Andre Dawson, boom boom boom, big time right there. I'm gonna set these guys over here. I don't know that I have very many cards of any of them. Here's a uh, the MVP 1931 American League. What Lefty Grove? Interesting. Okay. Don't know what to do with that, but we'll just set it to the side for now. 1989 World Series, Game 4. Cool Oakland Athletics card. Tim Tufel. Luis Quiones. Sorry, Luis. Tom Glavin. That's pretty awesome. It's not far into his career. Lloyd McClendon, Mike Henneman, Paul Kilgus. There's a card behind him. Some of these older cards stick together a little bit, so it's hard to get them all spaced out. Mel Hall, Don Ace, or Acey, Mark Carrion, Mark Gardner. The Montreal Expos, that's always fun. Mike Hartley with the Dodgers, 1990 rookie. Cool. All right, now we're going to go with the, the 89. We'll start with Don Russ. These wax packs can be tough to open, I suppose, here. All right. Let's see what we've got. Puzzle piece. Somebody playing for the Braves. Nice. Jeff Kunkel. Greg Minton. Wallace Johnson. Greg Cotteret or Cotteret. Israel Sanchez. Ron Washington. It's pretty cool. Manager extraordinaire. Ramon Martinez. Mar excuse me, Martinez. Dan Plesac. Joe Price. Jeff Robinson. Randy Reddy. Ozzie Smith, 89 MVP card. That's pretty cool. Danny Cox. Juan Augusto. And Dan Petri. These cards are leaving a lot of little dust particles behind. Oh, sorry, we have one more 89. Tops, 1989. It's got a piece of gum still in it. The box does say that the gum in these packs is not for eating. Obviously, it was when they were new, but being as old as they are, you know, close to 30 years old or better, um, it's, uh, it's obviously something you'd probably not want to eat, but... Yeah. There's our piece of gum. It smells pretty bad. All right. You can tell the gum being in this pack is really pushed right here on the pack, right across this card. Um, it's going to be Glenn Hubbard is our victim to the gum here. All of the cards in this pack are kind of bent because of it, unfortunately, but they're, they should still be okay for the most part, other than... Glenn there on the back. Gerald Perry, Jack Clark, 
Jim Gartner, Moose Stubbing, Brian Downing, Randy St. Clair, Les Straker, Straker, Rick Mailer, Uh, looks like a little mail-in card for a t-shirt. Jack Lazorko. Scott Bayles. Bayles. John Tudor. Al Nipper. Orestes Destrade. Team Checklist. It's really too bad that wasn't on the back instead of Glenn getting ruined by that gum. Alright. Well, cool. That's our 1989 Tops. Leave that gum over there. That's suspicious a little bit. All right, going into 1988, Fleer. These packs do open fairly well. They, they kind of open up like a gift-wrapped present, like a Christmas present. All right, here's a Giants National League sticker. That's pretty neat. It does also have Candlestick Park there on the back, which is pretty cool. Juan Samuel. These are definitely very weird, interesting cards. Pitching Magic. Mike Scott and Oral Hershiser. Joe McGrain. Feels like two cards. Bill Gullickson. Andy Van Slyke. George Frazier. Jeff Treadway. Mark Eekhorn. Gene Garber. That's two cards again. Terry Pendleton. Steve Crawford. Wallace Johnson. Carmen Castillo. Rafael Palmero. Cool. And Jim Wynn with the White Sox. Staying on 1988, now we're going to be going to Don Russ instead of Fleer. 88 Don Russ. Here's our puzzle piece. Jersey on somebody there. Eric Nodal. Or Nolt, sorry. Terry Pohl. Jeffrey Leonard. Got excited for a second there. Thought it might have been a Griffey. Mike Felder. Rick Manning. Of course, this can't be a Griffey because it's 88 and he didn't play yet. Jim Sandberg. Bill Almon. Mike Kingry, a Mariner. Awesome. Glenn Hubbard. This one's not attacked by gum. Chili Davis. Mike Lavalier. Greg Booker, Tracy Jones, Darren Dalton, and John Hab Hubion. All right, another piece of gum right there. 1988 tops. So the face probably of one card here is going to be wrecked, which is unfortunate. No, it is the back of a card, which is better than the face of a card, but still a wrecked card. In fact, the gum doesn't even... Didn't even want to come off of that, which is gross. That's a year older piece of gum than the last gum we found. And we're going to turn it over right here. All right. Charles Hudson. Mike Smithson. Len Matuzic. Annie McGaffigan. Matt Noakes, Twins Leaders, I don't know who they are, cool, Danny Darwin, Steve Sachs of the Dodgers, it's a great, great expression he's got there, Spring Baseball Fever, Spring Fever Baseball I mean, Cool, that's a little insert thing. Lonnie Smith, Jay Bell, 
Bobby Thigpen, Joe Price, John Shelby, Jose Oquendo, and Rich Yet, or Rick Yet. Cool. Last pack, oldest pack. This is a 1987 Don Russ. Of course, with Don Russ, there's another puzzle piece. Oh, Roberto Clemente. That's pretty cool. Now these are these are the cards with that black border that uh, don't grade well. If you send them in for grading, um, it's just really hard to keep them in good shape. We've got Bruce Hurst, Ted Power, Bud Black, George Bell, Nolan Ryan. That's pretty neat. That's pretty early in his career even. All things considered, anyway. Fred McGriff. Chris James. Mike Burbeck. Juan Nieves. Kelly Downs. Randy Bush. Dave Smith. Dennis Rasmussen. Or Rasmussen, depending on how you say it. <laughs> I've heard that once before. Ted Simmons. And Donnie Hill. Well, that's cool. It's kind of fun to be able to go through so many old packs uh, that typically I really haven't seen or opened in the past um, in my lifetime. we got some pretty cool cards, though, with Nolan Ryan there, Ozzie Smith, Tom Glavin, another Ozzie Smith, Bo Jackson, Andre Dawson, the Hawk, cool George Brett 10th anniversary card. That's pretty neat. Players of the Decade, Dennis Eckersley, 91, which was pretty sweet, and a Mark McGuire Leaf that was pretty cool in his A's uniform, as well as, of course, our Cal Ripken Jr. card, this awesome Ken Griffey Jr. card, and, of course, our Rally Monkey from 2018. And that wraps it up for this box.